Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another match day vlog. Today we take on Stevenage at home. We obviously have just dropped out of the playoff spot. Um, we're comfortably in mid-table now, obviously coming off the back of that draw at X to where probably should have won it with Alfie May chance at the end. Um, unfortunately didn't work out. This video has been partnered with the Groundhopper Notebook. Um, as you'll see on the screen right now, um, you've got a brilliant, brilliant notebook. I've really, really enjoyed filling it out from the Exeter game. It's got all the lineups. You can enter the lineups, goals. Uh, you can give a food and drink review as well. Your sort of ground notes and stuff. Right, uh, lineup has come out. Uh, Eister starts in goal. We've got back three of Reg, um, Hector and Thomas, which is what I said on the live stream as well. I'm quite happy with that back three. I think it'd be quite solid today. Uh, Thierry and Watson keep their spots at wing back as usual. Dobson, uh, Coventry and May are in the middle. May in that 10 roll behind Ladapo and Carney. I'm quite excited to see what Ladapo can do from the start of the game. It's been a little while since he started. Um, came off the bench and I thought he gave us something else in that extra game as well. So it'll be interesting to see how he does from the start today. Quite looking forward to today. As I said, sticking with my 1-0 win. And hopefully we can keep a very much needed uh, clean sheet and a very much needed three points. Um, would be nice. Let's see what the fans think at a kickoff. We're joined with Tom. Um, I would say check out his vlog underneath. You're not doing it today, are you? Not today. Um, no. So make sure to check out his channel. Go subscribe. Close to 1K now. How far are we? 33 away. 33. Yeah, I love how you know that off the, off by heart. It he keeps time. Make sure to go subscribe to Tom. Get him to 1K. But what's your thoughts on today's game? Um, I mean, I'm not expecting a lot, considering. I mean, we are practically safe. Um, I don't see us going down or losing every game of the season. Um. I'm excited. I'm, I mean, it's all about supporting them now. It's all about getting behind them. Um, obviously, Nathan Jones come in. It's a big, big positive. Hopefully, he can, can do something next season for us. But score prediction. Didn't even have to ask. You just know what's going to come. Well, <laughs> considering a year ago today, we did win 6 0. Mm -hmm. I, I know. No, no, I, no you can't say it no, on camera. It's, it's <laughs> not gonna, I think we will win quite comfortably. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I think 4-1. 4-1. 4-1. You go with a 4-1 four one chalk. Four one. Tom, I think, I think you might be embarrassing yourself here, mate. Alfie May Brace. <laughs> yeah. Thierry Small. Interesting. And Loire Loire off the bench. Interesting. Going with a 4-1 chalk. 4-1. Yeah. 100%. 100%. He's going with a 4-1 chalk, and I can't believe it. <laughs> right, we're joined with Ben, as usual. You've got a little burger there. What's, what's, what's your little food van up there? What's, what's your thoughts on it? Standard burger, mate. Standard. Nothing Ooh, special. Nothing special. A big shout. Um, it's all right, though. The more important question, what's your thoughts on today's game? I've, now, <laughs> I really, really want to win. Yeah. But I don't think so. You don't think it'll happen, so what's your score prediction, then? 2-1, Stevenage. Who's going to score for us? I don't care about them. Who's going to score us. for us? I would say I've made one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know, we saw that. <laughs> that really annoyed me, that did. I know um, it did, yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna, I don't know. Carno, I'm just going to go with Carno. Carno. Yeah. Going with 2-1 two, two, Stevenage. Yeah, that's I, Sweeney because he scored. I it. don't want to see Steve Evans. Down. I don't want to Steve well, Evans doing waddle. that little waddle. Yeah, I yeah, can't no, deal really with that. Um, and I do apologise for any Stevenage fans watching, but I'm sure I, they know. I don't. I'm sure they I know with really how much um, we hate Steve Evans. Who ate all the pies, Mr. Stevie Evans? I um, used to. <laughs> let's get into the valley <laughs> and hopefully get a much needed three points. Oh, 
right by that. It's a good save. Anyway, but he is offside. Got away that one. Sure Time here um, at the Valley, obviously. Nil-nil, been a very, very boring game in all honesty. I think that, that's the best way to sum it up. Uh, once again, as I always say, half time at the moment. The fact that there's not many clips from the first half to show you sums it up. Um, there's not been much for either side, in all honesty. I don't think there's been a clear-cut chance for either side whatsoever. Um, we had a good chance for tonight, whipping the ball across. No one was on the end of it. They had a volley on the edge of the area, so that's probably their only threat at the half as well. Um, in all honesty, both teams look like they're just lacking that little bit of creativity to, to create something. Um, Alfie being in that 10 role, I think, is sort of hindering us a little bit. I don't think he's been able to get on the ball too much. He's been trying to play off the defender when he's meant to be playing in the 10 role. So it's a little bit frustrating to watch, but hopefully things change in the second half and second half FC come back once again. Come on then, Charlton. So for a better fucking second half, because that first half wasn't great. 46 minutes into the game, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first corner of the game. We had one shot in the first half, they had two. Wow, what a game of football we've got on our hands. Go on, Freddy. Fucking hell, asking a lot of him. Go on, Freddy. Oh, rare. First lead day, about to come on. Hopefully, that helps. What a mess. Fuck me, this has got worse. Go on. Oh, ref! Right, I've just got home from the game. Um, forgot to record an outro at the game like I normally do. So, give me my honest thoughts on that. It was poor. It was poor. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, very boring game, but we've had our fair share of them this season. Um, definitely wasn't the most boring game I've watched this season, but it's up there. It wasn't the most entertaining game, as I said. There wasn't many chances for either team to think. Eister made a couple of um, good saves. don't think we had any clear-cut chances that I can think of from the top of my head. It was just a poor performance. And, you know, the sooner we can get this season over and done with, the better. Um, I still think that we need a few more points to um, be 100% comfortable. I think we'll be okay. Famous last words. But definitely... Don't want to see many of these players around at the end of the season. I can't wait for my end of season review and to be able to discuss all that because I was just thinking about it in the car home. Five more games of watching these players and I hope not many of them are here again next year. There's a few that I'd be happy to keep. But Nathan's got a big job on his hands if we're going to get anywhere near the playoffs next season. Thank you very much for watching. The only positive, we're 10 unbeaten.